In this video, we're going to look at the graphs of circles compared to their equations. So in our first example, we want to write the equation of the circle based on its graph. If you'll recall, we need two pieces of information to write the equation of a circle. We need to determine the center of the circle as defined by HK, and we need to determine the length of the radius. And we're going to pretend like this is a perfect circle. I know it's not. Again, I had to freehand it, and it's very impossible to freehand a perfect circle. We're going to pretend like it's a perfect circle. So here we are. Can we determine the center? So the center is given by this point here, starting from the origin. That's negative 2, 1, 2, 3, negative 3. So the center is at negative 2, negative 3. And then to determine the radius. So the radius is the length from the center to any end point of the circle. I suggest choosing wisely, find a nice one um, that doesn't require any algebra. For example, I could go from the center all the way up to the top. That's up one, two, three. So I know my radius is of length three. I should be able to do that in any direction and get a radius of three. So I should be able to go this way, one, two, three, and it should also match, which it does. I could go down one, two, three. Now, or I could go left, but the point is the radius is three. So from here to any point on the circle, it's a length of three. Now we're going to plug it into the formula. That would be x plus two quantity squared plus y plus three quantity squared equals r squared, which is nine. So that's how we would write the equation if we're given the circle. Here we're given the equations and we want to identify the center and the radius, then we want to sketch a quick graph. And again, drawing circles is incredibly difficult, so I suggest using a pencil or something that's erasable, and I suggest not being overly concerned if it looks terrible. Everyone understands that they are very hard to draw. Okay, so we're given x minus 3 quantity squared plus y minus 5 quantity squared is equal to 16. So the center is going to be found at 3, 5. And the radius is the square root of 16, which is 4. So 3, 5, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. My suggestion for drawing a circle is go the radius in the four directions, go straight up the radius length, go straight down the radius length, and then left and right. So here we go up 1, 2, 3, 4. Here I'm going to go to the left, 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm going to go to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4. And I'll go down, 1, 2, 3, 4. So that gives me four points on the circle. And I, again, I'm just going to do my best. It's going to turn out terrible, I promise. And that wasn't so bad. I did miss a point, but that's OK. And that's what the graph would approximately look like. In our next example, we have x plus 4 quantity squared plus y minus 1 quantity squared equals 4. So here, the center of the circle would be found at negative 4, positive 1. And the radius is the square root of 4, which is 2. So on our graph, we're going to start with the center, 1, 2, 3, 4, up 1. And then again, to sketch a quick graph, we're going to take the radius. I'm going to go up 2 units. I'm going to go back to the center, go down 2 units. Go back to the center, go to the right 2 units. Whoops, I think it went up a little bit. Let's try that again. And go back to the center, go to the left 2 units. and draw your circle.